One, two, three, fuck it. Good morning, what is up and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. So today is Saturday. I think it's like the 17th or something. Or no, I think it's the 18th. Yeah, because tomorrow's Father's Day. We are going to a pool party today. Um, the weather isn't that great, which sucks, but it's not gonna R-A-I-N. So, it's 8 o'clock. Miss Thing is, she's been on a decent schedule. So, we've been trying to make sure we stick with it because she's been sort of sleeping through the night not completely she still does wake up a few times but not as much as she was and i'm so excited um i just realized that you guys probably have no idea what i'm talking about basically long story short um she used to sleep good through the night would sleep usually all through the night or only wake up once um, but she got sick and got COVID and then her six month sleep regression and then it all got just like shot. So she started waking up super, super frequently and she's waking up with like five to six times in the middle of the night, which is crazy for a nine month old. Um, so we've been trying to fix it. It's been super hard. But honestly, I think with like the little routine that we have, even though it's not the routine that was recommended, um, it's been sort of working. So, but she's literally in her room playing with her shoes. I'm eating because she's not ready to eat yet. So I'm just gonna eat while I wait for her. She's getting into stuff in her bedroom. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> She's like zooming and I love it. She literally has all these toys to play with. Keep in mind, I do always clean this, guys. It doesn't always look messy, but we're actually changing this. When she turns a year old, we're obviously going to go through the toys and donate the, like, babyish <laughs> toys. Um, and then we're actually going to like basically cut this in half, maybe even a quarter, and put them in this. This is a tour box she got for Christmas. We're gonna put them in here. Um, right now it has just other random little things. This she got for Christmas, but she's not actually, she might be ready for it now. I might actually open it this weekend, but. Yeah, there's other just bigger toys, or older toys in here that she doesn't use. But we are going to be doing um, toy rotation because what I first wanted to do was I really, really wanted to do Montessori play. Sorry, the lighting in here really sucks. Let me open this. No, Ariel Evergreen. No. Um, I really wanted to do Montessori play with her, which if you don't know what it is, you can look it up on Google and like really get like the inside, but basically long story short, it's when they just have like, it's like real play. Like it's actually, I don't even know why I did that because it's literally real stuff. Like instead of like a play kitchen, you have a real kitchen. Instead of like the play like locks and like stuff like that, you like actually get like real locks from like Home Depot and stuff like that. It's like real play. And it's also a lot of their stuff is like wooden. We practice Montessori soup with her for a while. Um, right now we're currently not doing it anymore, but I do want to do it like as she gets older. Um, but like I said, right now we're trying to just focus on her sleeping through the night. So that's my main thing right now. But yeah, so I really wanted to do Montessori play, but People just ended up getting her like a lot of toys and stuff like you've seen. So it's kind of hard to do it when you have all of those stuff and it's like you don't want people to feel like, oh, why isn't she playing with my toys? So as of right now, 
that's fine but i think between like a year and two years we're going to be switching at two we're completely switching i mean she's still gonna have some of those toys like her lankamoles i will never get rid of those i love those they're the best toys ever and she loves them um they're like little toys that connect to each other and they talk to each other like those i will keep but like some of the other little tiny things that she doesn't really need um we're going to replace with Montessori. So oh, on her birthday wish list i actually like i didn't actually ask for a lot of toys for her birthday i there's very few on there and they're Montessori doors montessori toys so yeah she's getting into her diapers people are like well, why didn't you tell them i i kind of did i brought it up a couple times while i was pregnant but we didn't completely do our research on it um and i wish i did that's something that i'm going to be changing with my future children um she's our first so you live and you learn i mean we're first time parents we're learning as we go so now i know <laughs> Okay, so this is what Miss is having for breakfast. I was gonna do yogurt, but she was ready, so. These are just mini chocolate chip muffins. Grapes that I cut up, she loves her fruit. And then this just is her cup with water. She loves her water. This is what happens when somebody's tired and needs to take a nappy. It's almost 10 o'clock and she is ready for her morning nap. Yeah. I tried to, she didn't really eat much of her breakfast. She was just wanted to get out. I'm gonna try to get her down for a nap. And then I'm actually making a charcuterie board for the pool party. Um, so I'm gonna make that. Okay, so it took like an hour. <laughs> actually, like almost two hours. Nap. Sorry, I've seen the baby outside. Um, the baby's still sleeping, but it's now 12 o'clock. So, I really need to get ready because now I'm behind. I'm hoping that the baby will stay sleeping um, for a little while longer just so I can get myself ready and hopefully start. I have to still make the charcuterie board, which that won't take long because literally I just have to cut up cheese and lay everything nicely on a platter. kind of sucks because I really wanted to go swimming but thank god it's not raining because um that would really really suck to make a sharp little boy right now so that's what we are doing I have this board it's a thick wood board my father-in-law made it for me it's a cutting board, um, obviously, so it has handles on the side and everything. I love it. I threw all my old ones away. Wiping it down, obviously, because there's going to be food on it. So the cheeses I got are sharp cheddar. I got pepper jack. And I got Colby Jack. This is my favorite. I love that one. And then I also got Baybell, Baybell cheeses, which I didn't put this on my last time, but I figured it would be a nice little touch. And then for the meats, we obviously have pepperoni and we have kielbasa. It's not gonna be cooked either. And then for the crackers, we just have the 
original Ritz. And then this is another new thing that I didn't put on last time. I'm going to put wheat thins on it. I like wheat thins. Ethan likes wheat thins. I don't know if anybody else likes wheat thins. If not, it's fine. It's just coming home with me anyway. But just a nice little touch. So I'm going to start chopping everything up and start laying it on my board. Well, somebody woke up. <laughs> this is what she does when she can't get in the kitchen. She sits there and yells. Like she's locked in a jail. Ha, this was a good investment, huh? You can't get in here, you're locked in baby jail. So is the dog. <laughs> are ready. I just have to cut this up. And then I think these, I think I'm going to leave them in a wrapper. So this is how it turned out. The bay bells look a little weird just sitting there, but I didn't want to wrap them because I wanted to make sure people knew what they were. So people don't know what the cheeses are. And then plus, I also put them like because I was going to put them just right here at the end, but I put them in front of the crackers that way they didn't fall off. But she's done, and now I'm going to wrap her. We have a baby, but not bringing her diaper bag. So I have Ethan's bathing suit down there. We have two towels, my bathing suit, the baby's bathing suit, a couple extra diapers, her sunscreen just in case. We're using that bag. And then I'm bringing my water jug. Hers, obviously. Just an extra for her. And then there are going to be snacks for her there to eat. But I'm bringing this just with like her own snacks. And then I just have to grab her wipes. And then I think that's it. The shorty got her with the real pipe. Now she don't want you will fill. Well, I got <laughs> It's a little chilly, so we're getting out, but we swam for a little bit, huh? We swam for a little bit. You don't want to go in the pool anymore? Where's Mariah? Then I miss you when she went in and she had so much fun. So much fun. So much fun. And there's Sophia. He wasn't, baby. Mommy was in here. Gotta change her. I brought this. <laughs> Can't really tell what it looks like. Say hey, hello. Who are you video with? Nobody. I'm vlogging. <laughs> okay, little miss is all dressed. I'm dressed too. I just have a towel on my head. But we are going outside now. <laughs> This is the house. The pool's down there, and I'll show you the pool. Here's the cabin. There we are. And the fire's over there. I'll show you the pool. Hold on. And there's the pool with all the kids, and a little cabin, and over here. What are you doing? Are you eating your cheese yet? Stop going after Kate and Kane literally ran on the porch trying to get some type of safety and Zach literally went and you should see it the poor chicken just went flying in the air. He didn't come back after that one though. No, but there I um he did he did shoot him, right? Did yeah, shot it he went right he went right back into the first uh, She's like mm. Are you getting tired? <laughs> I like your style though. What? You trust me, you'll know when she gets tired. She'll, her arm, or her, she'll drop her legs, like she'll bend them and drop. She only bends that one? Yeah, I don't know why. Get her in. 
<laughs> her left she lifts up, but her right she drags. <laughs> Hey, dear Zachy Poo. Happy <laughs> birthday to you. She had a long day. Look at her. Mm -hmm. We are home now, and the baby is napping. Um, she's having a actually it's not late i don't think so we are home it sucked that it was chilly out but we still ended up going swimming for a little bit like we were in there for like a half hour because it was a heated pool but um it still was a little chilly um but we made the best of it and we still had lots of fun so zach if you're watching this happy birthday but yeah the baby is sleeping um I just unpacked our stuff and I'm about to, I just threw our like swim stuff in the washer, so it's washing right now. And I'm about to fold our laundry, I just have the dog out, I threw everything while she's sleeping. But I just got this in the mail, so I want to try it. There, it's collagen powder. I just got anyone out that I seen off of Amazon that looked like good and was in my budget. Um, so I know it's late, but I'm gonna have coffee. It's 6.30, um, but I didn't have coffee today, so I'm not that worried, but I also am super tired. So I'm gonna have some coffee. I'm having what well, I've had and I still am having postpartum. I, it started with prenatal hair loss, which was really bad. That's why I cut my hair short. And then it went to now I'm postpartum. So now it's postpartum. It's not as bad right now, um, but I still want to help my hair grow. Okay. I'm kind of hoping that it doesn't, of course it has this on it. Um, it, it says unflavored powder. And a lot of people who I talk to from do take this they say it doesn't taste like anything either so I'm kind of hoping because that's one reason why I don't take like crazy stuff like this because I will literally vomit I'm really nervous why are my hands sticky all right hold on okay I stirred up as much as possible it makes it I feel like thicker, if that makes sense. I feel like this whole video is literally just me in the kitchen. I'm really sorry guys. But yeah, I'm literally mixing it and it just feels like thick. Totally not on flavor. Like it doesn't taste like I don't want to explain it. it. Doesn't taste like anything, but I can tell that there's something else in here other than my coffee. I'm just gonna end the vlog here. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm sorry the baby's not here with me to end the vlog, but I'm sure she will be up in a little bit. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Thank you.